Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it is February 3rd. I haven't filmed in a hot second. I don't actually know when I filmed last and it's just been an interesting 2019 so far. We ended up traveling for work and we went to California, Nevada, we were doing that um, and it's just been crazy. My mom's here from Sri Lanka. She was house sitting for us while we were gone. Big announcement. We were supposed to be going to France this Friday, but we actually decided to postpone or cancel, probably cancel our trip um, to France because we've got some family stuff going on. Um, I don't really know how much I want to get into it. It's a really interesting story and someday I'll share it with you guys. It's nothing to do with like me and Rail or anything more so his dad um, or our in-laws. So yeah, I'd like to share it with you just because I think it's just like a great life lesson for anyone, but I don't know that now is the time. So anyway, because of XYZ, ABCD, EFG, uh, we've decided to cancel our trip, which is kind of a bummer because I was excited to go, but we have, I mean, other plans already in place. So for sure this year, our friends are getting married in Arizona. So I'll be able to check Arizona off my list of states that I've been to, which is exciting. And yeah, it'll be a good year either way, France or no France. So I'm kind of bummed because this won't be the year I get to see like the Louvre and stuff. And I was gonna meet Nadia um, from YouTube in France. And I don't think we'll obviously be able to do that. So I am bummed about that because I was definitely looking forward to meeting her um, in person because she is such a sweet gal. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video. It's gonna be kind of like testing new products. I am a huge Wet n Wild fan, you guys. My favorite products from them are their liquid lipsticks. I have a bunch of their highlighters that I love, and I have some of these blushes that they came out with in the Hummingbird collection that are great. I picked up a bunch of their bronzers from the summer, but recently they launched a new liquid lipstick formula, um, some concealers, a stick foundation that I'm interested in trying out, and some really beautiful new eyeshadow palettes. So I just wanted to kind of just talk to you guys, tell you how I was doing. I just can't believe how time has gone by, and I don't know, I'm going through like a weird YouTube phase where I'm like, do I need to make more YouTube videos? I don't know, but I'm here. Like, I don't think I wanna like quit YouTube, but definitely having like an every other day upload schedule is very stressful. Um, especially now when like my family is visiting and I don't really wanna have to like take time away from like spending time with my mom and stuff to film YouTube videos. Um, but I know all these makeup pa palettes are sitting here in my room, so I'm like, oh, I gotta get to it, I gotta get to it. I don't want, you know, my makeup just sitting there and kind of getting outdated, um, and then nobody's gonna watch my video because nobody really cares. <laughs> but honestly, I'm slowly kind of getting all over all those things when it comes to YouTube. I feel like uh, my channel is kind of always destined to be one of those smaller channels, and that's okay and I still enjoy makeup. I'm still freaking buying makeup, even though I've been using like the same five things, like especially when we went traveling. Um, but it was fun because I took some makeup with me to try out and some of it I really, really hated and some of it I am glad I, you know, had a chance to just try it out and now I know. So like, for example, I, finally tried out my Tom Ford quads and honestly guys the Tom Ford quads I don't get the hype 
Maybe it's just not my makeup vibes, but like the amount of the way people talk about Tom Ford quads, like they're these like amazing things. And I can see maybe if you have like a you know a small makeup collection and you are a very, very um up in your company, like makeup pro like working professional woman, or you're like a boss or like a CEO somewhere, I can see like where Tom Ford quads would fit into your lifestyle but for me like I love wearing fun makeup and I just can't believe those prices for what you're getting um I would rather wear a colorful palette for that price or just like something more exciting for less money anyway um this is one of the new um palettes from Wet n Wild and this is called Cosmic Collision. I don't know, this one's kind of the one that grabbed my attention. This transition mustardy shade must be in my crease. So let me just grab a brush. This is a Morphe M505 and I primed my lid with, I'm trying to stick to um, affordable, so I'm gonna prime or I prime my eyelids with I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base by Essence. And that's like four or five dollars. So I'm just going to place this in my crease. I actually bought, when they reformulated these, the original four. And I don't remember if I ever filmed a video on those ones. Um, and honestly, like, I rarely grab my drugstore products over some of my, like, Sephora purchases. Um, so I was really, like, humming and hawing about buying these. But honestly, I was just so curious and... I decided, hey, why not just try it out? It's so affordable. You can buy all this stuff from, you know, um, Wet n Wild for the price of like one Sephora eyeshadow palette. So I did it because I was curious and these shimmers look so beautiful. This transition mustard color, it's very close to my skin tone, but it's so pretty. It really just caught my attention. And then I'm gonna go into this darker transition shade with the same brush. Always trying to find like a buttery matte shadow. You know what I mean? Okay, this brown is really beautiful. I like that. Going back into the mustard and just blending and blending. And I see there's a black in here and this green. So I'm just gonna Place those on the outer corner as well. I'm just tapping and then blending. Because I don't want it to get too intense. I should have probably zoomed you guys in, but I don't know, whatever. So yeah, just like lots of crazy things are going on. And um, work has been really good. Um, if you guys don't know, me and my husband we actually work together I talk about this a lot more on Instagram if you guys follow me there you probably know we work together and we work in a small business and it's like family owned so our his dad is our boss and um Rael just got like a promotion so that'll be interesting which is a really busy year unexpectedly busy I'm going into this purpley silvery shade and I'm just gonna use my finger I also got, okay, so I went to California first. Um, so actually, I went to California to get my French visa so I could travel to France um, because up until like this weekend, we were still going to go. Um, and then, <laughs> so I needed a visa, which I didn't know when we booked our tickets because I just got my green card and I didn't think I would need a visa to go to France. But guess what? If you are an American green card holder you still need a visa to travel to France so um just know that if in case that applies to you okay because I didn't and I of course in true Karen Harris fashion waited for the last minute and then I was like oh fuck I need a visa luckily we were able to um combine my visa trip with a work trip um so we kind of killed a few birds with one stone um <laughs> Where was I going with the story? But, um, totally can't remember where I was going with that story. But yeah, this is that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But yeah, so with just like taking on 
extra work for real and transitioning to his new role. It's just been a lot for us, so... And we're just excited, honestly, after that trip to California to not have to go to France. <laughs> because we were just like, that trip was so long. Um, oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. So we went to California to get my visa. And then I had to go work in Nevada for a convention. And um, I wanted to get my nails done in California. And so we did get our nails done. And I had these beautiful um, holographic nails, which I could never probably find somebody to do that here. Um, so I got them done in California, and then my first day of work in Vegas, I broke one nail, and then once we got back, this Saturday, this last Saturday, we were at dinner, and I just, like, broke them all off. So my nails look like crap, but I don't really care. Okay, so this is their new Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. So I'm just going to spray this on my face. I'm scared. I haven't used this before. It's like five. It's like five dollars. Oh, that feels nice. Um, mmm, mmm, smells nice too. And um, I wanted to use that because my skin has been so dry, you guys. I'm sure you've heard of the polar vortex. I live in a polar vortex. My life is a polar vortex. Um, nothing changed for me <laughs> when that was happening, but it was definitely hard to have been gone in California and Nevada, which is significantly warmer than where we live, and come back and be that cold. And my poor mom, who's from Sri Lanka, has never been to North Dakota in a winter, and it was just a fun learning experience for our whole family. And just how, when you're gone for that long, like the things you need to think about, like snow. <laughs> so yeah, we, after having been gone to California and Nevada for 10 days, um, we're kind of happy in a weird way to <laughs> stay in um, Fargo <laughs> because now we don't have to worry about our pets and like if it'll snow, we'll have to have somebody come shovel so my mom doesn't like get stuck in the house. And, and so honestly, we kind of took away some of the stress we were feeling for this trip. And me and Rail, I think when we booked our flights to France, we got a little over ambitious and a little bit excited. And we booked like a two week trip. So I think next time, if we ever book a vacation, two weeks would be like the max uh, we would do. Um, so that was an interesting learning experience and I think um, our next international trip um, since we are not doing France will probably be South Africa because that's where my husband is from in case you guys didn't know and yeah I've never been and yeah we're excited um, and he hasn't seen his family in forever. My parents usually travel here um, like my parent, my mom and dad were here last summer and now my mom's here, um, so we get to see them a lot more than we get to see Rail's mom. So it'll be fun um, if we do have a chance to go back there. Um, so <laughs> I've been blending away this Photo Focus foundation. Kind of a stiff formula. I'm not sure how much coverage I'm getting out of it. The shade match seems to be okay. This is the shade Sand Beige. And so, yeah, there we go. And I have the Wet n Wild Concealer. This They came out with the Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Tawny. I've had this for a while. So I'm basically trying to do a full face of Wet n Wild. Um, but I don't have like one wild eyeliner. I think it's the only thing I don't have from them. And like a brow product. Uh, oh, and I used to have a setting powder from them. But I don't think I have it with me. So, <laughs> no setting powder. <laughs> oh well. So for my setting powder, I'm just going to use the Hourglass powder. 
Um, this is what I've been using lately anyway. And I'm too lazy to look for the Wet n Wild one that I have, so. I love this powder for the winter time. It's not heavy at all. I've actually been trying out the Hourglass Foundation and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's like hit and miss. This is, I've hit pan on my brow powder. I'm so excited. I'm using the ABH Chocolate shade. And the ABH brush for my brows. It's the perfect brush. If you guys are on the hunt, Definitely check this out. And oh my gosh, you guys. So we were in Vegas. And this is another reason I'm okay not going to France because I really wanted to get myself a designer purse for my birthday. And I um, really wanted a pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton. And I really wanted to go to France because that is like where they're headquartered out of is France. And I really thought that I would be able to get my hands on a pochette Matisse there. I don't want to say they're rare, but they're so popular that they sell out so quickly in the U.S. Louis Vuitton stores, they, well, you can't buy them online. You have to call in or not call in, but you have to be able to get them, I think, from a boutique and caught these baby hairs. You guys, brow pomade in baby hairs is a lifesaver. So these bags, they can't keep them in stock because they sell out so fast. And we were hanging out. I actually got to meet Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I'll post a picture of her. And we were waiting at Caesars to meet her at the Starbucks. And I just had done a store lookup um, for the Pochette Matisse and the Bellagio kept coming up. And so I called um, Louis Vuitton's customer service and I was like, hey, um, I'm in town, I'm in the, I'm in Caesars, I'm looking for this specific bag. Do you know if any store in Las Vegas has this bag? And she was like, it was so funny because I just was talking to her on the phone and Rail couldn't hear her, but she was like, she's like, there may be what you're looking for at the Bellagio. She's like, go there now. Don't tell anyone what you're doing. Just go over there and get it now. And I'm like, what? And so I get off the phone and I'm just like, real, like this is what she said. And I was just like, so like, what's the word? It's just a weird feeling because you guys like, I have a great life. I'm not complaining, but I'm not the kind of person that can just drop like, you know, designer bag money, just like without twitching a little. So I was just like sitting there. I'm like, real, I'm supposed to meet this girl. You know, she's like 15 minutes away. And Rel's like, you know what? Just tell your friend to meet you at the Bellagio. Let's just go there now. And I'm like, and guys, trust me, when your husband says this to you and you're about to buy a Louis Vuitton bag, you don't question it, right? So we start like walking towards the Bellagio, which was like a hotel. So it's the Mirage, which was where we were saying the uh, Caesars. Um, and then the Bellagio, I think. And so we just like booked it there and I get into the Louis Vuitton store. I'm like freaking out. And then I was like, um, so da 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 da. And she's like, yeah, we just got five in this morning. And so I got my bag, my dream Louis, which was a push up Matisse because I love crossbodies. I'm so excited to wear this bag in the summertime. It's actually over there. And I forgot, I didn't know if I was going to talk about it. Like I kind of want to do an unboxing. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? Um, but I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So now I have the Demi Aben I, and the monogram canvas. And now all I need is a Demi Azure bag. And then I will have all the canvases from Louis Vuitton, which I'm excited about. So I think the next one I want is a Neverfull from Louis Vuitton. I really, really want a Neverfull. Is it the GM? 
the big one, the biggest one. I want like this big bag because I love carrying tote bags. Um, those are so fun because they are so versatile and you can take them traveling and things like that. So that is my next goal <laughs> as far as designer purses go. But yeah, I got my push up for the heath and that is, yeah, I feel a little bit okay. So I got my push up Matisse and I feel a little bit okay about not going to France because that was like one of the big things I was looking forward to buying in France and they do give you like a really good discount or not a discount but you get your taxes back so you get about 11% off if you buy a bag in Europe I believe is what people told me that's okay it's okay <laughs> so I still I mean it's so sweet of Braille because I know he didn't have to do it but he did it for me anyway and yeah that was really fun <laughs> really really fun I just used the Linda Hallberg mood crayon in cool mood I've been loving these liners I really want more but I'm not gonna get any because I don't need any more um trying to be less of a savage in 2019. I don't feel like I bought a lot of makeup, but you guys, I still feel like I have. And there's so many cool things coming out too. Well, not so many, but like the other day I saw Angelica was talking about um, these vivid brights from, um, what's the brand? Touch of Glam. And I just got a package in from Touch of Glam and I'm like, Karen, why would you need more, you know? Oh, shit. Okay, so I just put in... some blue shadow from this other Wet n Wild palette. And I really want to do a pop of color in the inner corner. This is like a butter yellow color in this palette. Do you guys see it? I'm just trying to place that in the inner corner. It's actually really pretty. Wow. It's mixing with the blue though. <laughs> and it's turning into like this blue green shade. So I don't know how I feel about that. But my eyes are basically done. And... I want to do mascara last, so let's do face products. So this is the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade I have no idea. And this is from the Game of Thrones collection they did. The dragon something. And I really like this bronzer. And I really like this brush. It's a powder brush um, from Sephora. But it's so giant. And I love using it for bronzer. And then I have this new color icon blush from them. I've never tried the color icon blushes because I never really thought I liked any of the shades and this one is called Blazenberry and if you guys know me at all you know I love me a good berry tone blush so this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm not sure I just feel like this is for like deeper skin tones but that's okay this is the Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown. And this is a Morphe M438. You guys, I have so many Wet n Wild highlighters and I wish I had more face to sit and use it all because I have so much and they're beautiful and they keep coming out with more too. That's the crazy part. This one is so pretty oh my gosh I can put some in my brow bone Ooh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and pile that on so like I don't think you're ready <laughs> so you guys buy the oh you know what else I'm doing so I told you guys we have friends getting married summer in in Arizona and her sister, who is the bridesmaid, is from Nashville or lives in Nashville. So we will be heading to Nashville for a bachelor party. I'm so excited for that. We went back in with this coconut primer water to set everything. The sprayer on this bottle is amazing. It feels like I'm taking a shower. <laughs> so 
And the smell is good too, my gosh. Okay, so I bought a bunch of their new mascaras too. I even opened up a different one and I tried it. I did love it. So I don't think I'm gonna open those ones right now. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and use my current favorite mascara. Where did I put it? So this is my current favorite mascara. It is a full size of the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I picked this up during my trip to Vegas because um, you guys know anytime I'm in close proximity to a real Sephora, I feel the need to purchase something. <laughs> and so I did. And I love it. This thing makes my lashes look like I have falsies on. Like all week people have been like, Karen, are you wearing false lashes? And I'm like, no, it's just the Hourglass Mascara. Hello, told you about it. Buy one, just kidding. The only thing with this is it is pricey and they just launched a new lip formula. So I've already tried this guy, which is Cedar Later, this berry shade kind of, I feel like would look really cute with my caramel shirt right now and my blue eyeliner situation. Um, there's like really good complimentary colors and this is Wine is the Answer. Mm -mm. I'm about to live this life. And um, my lips are so chapped. Mmm, luscious. <laughs> okay guys, so here is the finished look. My almost full face of Wet n Wild. The only thing that wasn't Wet n Wild are my brows, my eyeliner, and the mascara. So I feel like that's pretty legit. I'm sure you can find those things um, from Wet n Wild as well. I personally don't love their eyeliner and I don't need to buy a brow product from every brand. So we're not gonna do that. But everything else I do love. Obviously, I don't know anything about this foundation. It was my first time putting it on my face. So I will try and remember to leave you guys a little update on how everything wore down in the description box. So check there. Thank you guys for listening to me blabber on about my life these last couple of weeks. And thank you guys so much for your patience with my upload schedule. I will continue to try to upload every other day it's just like a decent schedule for me it's easy for me to remember i still have that like one day buffer to edit or film if i need to so i definitely want to try and keep that up for you guys and i thank you so much for watching this one and i will see you in my next video soon bye guys